Chapman's. Branson spoke exclusively to WREG's Bridget Chapman about their recent journey, but he didn't want to talk about the fire itself. The show goes until 11 tonight. Now, the Summers Brothers did already play, but their friends band is last one up. And today we spoke with them about how music has helped since the tragedy and also the message they have for the Memphis community. Renaissance Fair plays their first song tonight for the first audience they've performed for together in over a year. Music is just like, it's, it puts me in my happy place, you know? It also just, it's very, it's a great way to vent. An outlet that's been much needed with all they've been through these past five months. Branson, and Jared and Wesley lost their parents in the Gatlinburg fires. And music has been there for them as they try to heal, both mentally and physically. It's so therapeutic. So, I mean, you know, from everything that, that my brothers and I have been through, my hand uh, wasn't, like, super flexible when I came out of the hospital. He says drumming has helped his hand that was badly burned regain strength. My hands are great. My, like... We're all, we've all healed up really well. Although the emotional side may be a longer journey, Branson says playing music puts him on the right track. It also helps me keep uh, level-headed because that's my way of getting, like, emotions out in a sense. And so it's a really good, like, therapy tool. Noting that he's also going back to playing punk music like they used to play when they were teenagers in Memphis. I feel like a kid again, you know, I'm like back to like high energy, fast paced music. But the music isn't the only healing mechanism. It's like we've just built this big family of friends and uh, and close relatives who live all around us and and everybody keeps in touch more. That support has also come from complete strangers. I have to say just like a million times thank you to all those people. He says he couldn't believe how much love the community showed them. We just, our, our hearts are so like filled with love and warmth and, uh, and it's helped us move forward. I mean, it's helped us like stay positive through this whole thing and, and stay like, you know, know that things are gonna be okay. They don't think they're going to be playing together anytime soon because of different goals and schedules, but they are all still playing music and have a lot of plans of traveling. Reporting in Nashville, Bridget Chapman, WREG News Channel 3. All right. Thank you, Bridget.